So this is Sol, and Sol is a handsome ginger boy. Aren't you, Sol? So I'd say he's a, he's a semi-long head, and he's handsome lads, aren't you, eh? So he's just come out the basket, and I've just done a little bit of zoom groom over the top of him, just to relax him. Just got a little bit away from him there. So what we're going to do is Sol. His coat is beautiful on the top, so we'll just get a few of the oils through with the Zoom Groom on him. So we're literally going to do um, a bum clip because he's got a few mats around the back end in the trouser area. And he's got someone just tummy. So um, I've just spoken to Mum and he is an outdoor boy. He's out all the time. So we think it'll benefit, or I think it'll benefit if we take the tummy off as well because having a feel of him now, he has got quite a few buds and things trapped in the hair. Now, if they don't get removed, they will end up in a big clump and getting matted. And it'll be another visit back to me. So it'll be easier now if we just take the tummy off ready for the hot weather. I mean, we've got the hot weather in the UK for once. Um, so we're gonna do that for him. And then if he gets hot, he's got a nice cool, short tummy. He can plonk on the floor and cool himself down. But you're beautiful, aren't you? You are a good boy. You are. So Mum said he's not so good with people. But he's lovely. You're lovely, aren't you, Boo? Hey. Yeah. My table's rattling and shaking and all sorts of... Sorry, mate. I'm going to have to just move you slightly. I must be on a... A wonky bit of floor. Let's move that forward. Still feels wonky. <laughs> What's happened today to this? Hey. He's a good boy. He likes that brush. He does like that brush, doesn't he? He's got a big tail, hasn't he? He's got a lovely tail. Mm -hmm. So what's he crossed with? I love the gingers. We don't know what breed he is. Mm. He's about six in age, but you see, looking at his face, I don't know. Mm. This poor little fella's been in a fight as well. He got caught on his eye. Mm. So he's got mm -hmm. this eye. Mm -hmm. hey. Been inflamed. He's been to the vets. Just weeping, mm. isn't it, all the time? Nasty neighbourhood pussycat got you, didn't he? Hey, you didn't get out of the way in time. No. <clears throat> so I hope you're all happily grooming your pussycats at home. You know, I'm getting quite a few comments on the channel and quite a few private messages coming through from people. Asking questions and reaching out for help, which is always good because, you know, obviously the reason I'm doing the channel is to help anyone with their pussycats, to help with the grooming and to let everyone know the importance of the groom. Oh dear, you keep shutting that poor eye, don't you? Hey, dear me. Poor boy. Poor boy. Hey. Right, shall we do these claw claws? Mm hmm. We'll get rid of all this. Do your tootsies and then we'll do some clipping. Hey. I don't particularly want to do his claws because if he's outdoors, he needs to defend himself, particularly having his eye injury. I don't want him sort of getting stuck. I'm just going to have a little look and see. They are long. You're a good boy. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can go without them, without me clipping them. Uh, normally, any groomer, first job is claws because of, of course, injuries. But he seems such a good boy on the table for me here, and I know he's outdoor. I don't want to make you defenceless, do I? Mm. Eh? No. Not when there's a nasty neighbourhood pussycat. 
No, looking at, look, looking out for you. No, we do. Clippers. These are the clippers. Let's see what you like with these. Oh, says what's that noise? Good boy. Oh, there he is. Oh, says what's that? Do you want to sniff? Is it the sniff of those first? Yeah, you're a little bit unsure now, aren't you? Mm. Sit up, boy. That's all right. Okay. That's a good lad. There you go. He's a good boy. Right, let's see if we can do a little roly poly and get to this tummy. So, hmm? Come on to help you. Let's just have a little go while you're filming. Yeah. Let's have a little go. Let's just see. Can we do a roly poly? Can we go up for? Can we go for Antonita? Oh, he says, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good lad. What a good boy. Well, what an excellent boy this is, first visit. And how lovely is this? Hey, what a good boy. Yeah, right, let's get you up there. What a good boy. Oh, you can have a wash. Oh, oh let's have a little wash. That's it. how chilled out I am. Isn't that a lovely shot? Um, definitely Maine Coon. He's definitely, he's got to be Maine Coon, hasn't he? Yeah. I should have asked Mum. Mm. Or if he's not full Maine Coon, he's definitely got Maine Coon in him because he's doing the little chirps, isn't he, that they do? Yeah. <laughs> he has been such a good boy. So he's had his belly off. I'll just lift him slowly. You just see his tummy. Oh, there's a ball tummy under there. Okay, so that'll stop him getting massive with all the garden sticky buds and all the debris from the garden. And he's had the bun, all the trouser area clipped down as well. And then he's just had a groom out on the top. 